those two days of rest feel after the run that you've had? Oh, great. I'm amazing. I always wanted that. Yeah, always wanted that. Yeah. Do you do anything specific when you do have, you know, two days in a row like this to help your body recover or to, to kind of, you know, get your legs back under you? No, probably nothing. Just the usual, you know. Uh, yesterday I did nothing. Just lay down um, in the house all day. Uh, but today, you know, some ice stuff, uh, normal tech, that stuff. Sounds like a good day. Like yeah. Day. Great day for me. <laughs> what have you noticed differently about this team during the seven game win streak? Uh, I think we're just more together, you know, playing for each other, with each other. Uh, uh, like last game, you know, we didn't. Do great in offense, but we got stops in the end. That's one of the game. You know, we just got to keep working on our defense. How much have you guys improved on the defensive end during the streak? I think a lot, you know. Uh, just like I said, you know, playing for each other, helping each other, and communication is the big part of, of the success. For you personally, have you made any adjustments because this recent run has been incredible? No, just play my game. What do you think a game like tomorrow will tell you guys about where you stand? I mean, it's just another game, you know. Uh, obviously, it's one of the best teams in the NBA. Uh, but, you know, you got to approach every game the same, uh, especially in the regular season. And you just go and try to win every game. Do you, you guys have a seven-game winning streak, but I think obviously people pointed out that most of those wins have been, have been against teams with sub-500 records. Do you think tomorrow will actually tell you more about where you are? Well, no, I mean, or, or, we're, you, or we're, do you think you guys are? Do you guys? You think we're you famous us? for not winning and against those teams, you know? And now we win. I say they're down 500. <laughs> so, like I said, we just go every game trying to win it. And obviously, there's better teams and worse teams, but you just got to approach every game the same. Is there something to playing against? other elite players like Brown and Tatum that kind of get you going, get your own competitive, not that you're not always competitive, but it makes you want to do more than you and, and play better than you even would normally play? I think it's a more ask of like energy, you know, uh, when you go against those kind of guys, you know, you just have more energy, uh, especially playing at home, the building is going to be with us. Uh, but it, like I always say, you know, it's special to play against those players. Uh, you can always learn uh, when you play against them, and you know, every more that you play, more you can you can learn and uh, how to how to play them, how to stop them, and just it's fun and learning to play against those guys. How amazed are you that so many guys around the league are getting 40 points, 50, 60, now 70 point games? Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible run for the whole NBA. You know, uh, just. You can see how much talent is in this game, you know, uh, how many great, amazing players uh, are in this league. Off topic, Luca, but uh, LeBron's obviously going to pass Kareem pretty soon and Densing will be slowing down. What, what are the odds you think of anybody ever catching LeBron? Oh, odds? They should have Vegas then. <laughs> <laughs> how possible do you think it is? I mean, uh, it's always a possibility, you know, but it's going to be really tough. Uh, you got to have a guy that plays for 20, uh, I mean, 20 is now, 20 years uh, in that shape. Uh, I mean, how he holds up his body. Uh, I'm just saying outside all the basketball skills, you know, it's just, it's very hard to hold that body. Uh, uh, if you're saying me, there's no way because I'm not playing that much. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Yeah. You, you already anticipate the question. You say no way in hell for you, huh? No. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's just amazing to watch him, you know. Uh, like I say, it's his 20th season, though, what he's doing, he scored uh, 30, 40 almost every night. It's just incredible. Uh, we barely see those things. And you, you mentioned the longevity and just the durability over two decades. Is that the most impressive uh, thing to you about, about that record? I mean, there's a lot of things that are impressive about the record. Obviously, to pass Kareem, uh, it's the most important record, but you know, you gotta hold up your body, you gotta play every year, almost, a, not every game, but he played a lot of games uh, at the top level, which is really hard. So uh, I think there's a lot of really, really amazing things that he did. On the subject of all those 50 point games, I mean, you kind of started it. Uh, do you think uh, all you guys being pretty highly competitive athletes, do you think there's an element of, hey, he scored 50, I'm gonna score 50. I mean, do you think it's, Kind of contagious in that sense. Hmm. Maybe I mean I don't know. You know I think every player is different. Uh, 
So, I don't know. You have to score 72 now? Yeah, no. Probably not. <laughs> Luca, you talk about the chemistry that this team has right now. The pick and roll between you and Wood and you and Powell is two of the most efficient pick and roll duos in the NBA. What's your mindset when you're coming off those ball screens and the chemistry you've built with them? I mean, I have two guys that, you know, uh, really help me out, you know, in the pick and rolls. Two players that need to be efficient. Uh, as you know, you know, I love pick and rolls. Uh, just trying to read them. Uh, but, you know, they do the most of the work, so uh, they help me out a lot. What has Christian done to pick up everything in the defensive man out of the court? I mean, he's just uh, being way more, uh, I say, with energy. Uh, he listens to us, we listen to him. Uh, like I said, you know, communication is a big key. Uh, but under the basket, you know, he's improved a lot. Uh, just kidding, I don't know. If he gets three blocks now, it's normal. So uh, he's been really helping us down the defensive end. Thank you. Thank you.